The newest update in Clash Mini allows you to get free maxed out minis, but the question is how do you capitalize on those? In this video, we're going to be going over what the free trial means for minis and how you can capitalize on it as a free to play player. Obviously, it says at the time I'm recording this video, there's six days and two hours left. We saw last week it was the Mega Knight and the Dark Goblin. This week it is the Swordsman and the Royal Ghost. And with the new progression system update, if you missed that video, yesterday there will be a card uh, on screen that you can go check it out. It is for feedback on kind of the late game progression, but as a free to play player, it's really important to capitalize on these free mini trials. So we're gonna hop into some games, kind of talk about what the free mini trial means, and then how you can really capitalize on uh, utilizing those free maxed out minis to improve your game and your strategy as you progress and upgrade because obviously the resources that you get in the game can be pretty scarce so it's important to look at synergies and things like that so we're going to kick things off um and we're just going to start off with the rogo so obviously rogos is probably one of the best if not the best mini uh for lower levels in the game so we have the silence coming out onto the monk, and that means the uh, uh, skeleton king is not going to be able to utilize its ability, which is going to be great for us right at the start. And then it's going to get the res off, and we should be able to get another super off uh, with the monk. The slow with the ice was is going to be huge for us as well. Rogos is going to take the focus, and that's going to pull it through. So, for these specific minis, I think this is going to be one of the better decks that you can get. On this deck, we have the monk with the upgrades up to level two. So it's a level eight monk, level two upgrades, but honestly, Royal Ghost can also pair well with the Skeleton King and the Barbarian King. So if you have Skeleton King, Barbarian King, or Monk leveled up, then the Swordsman Royal Ghost combo for max out minis this week will be the heroes that you wanna focus on. So let's kind of switch things up here. Let me see if we can get a Royal Ghost. We do get the Royal Ghost. So the thing that you're gonna wanna focus on with this strategy in the uh, kind of, um, Royal Ghost and Swordsman combo is obviously maxing out your Royal Ghost is going to be super, super important. I mean, Royal Ghost is just absolutely insane with the uh, ability to go invisible and everything like that. So we do have the super coming through. We will be able to take out the guard and we are going to end up losing this round, which is fine. So looks like he is going to be capitalizing on this Royal Ghost as well. But when it comes to the free trials and everything like that, I really think that uh, Clash Mini did a great job kind of introducing uh, what it's like for you to have certain maxed out minis. Let's actually bring this back and we are going to go with the hot pot all the way in the backside and I'm going to drop our giant skeleton here. So this is probably going to be our best use. Yep, we cancel the invisibility with the Monk's Clash on his side, which is going to be really, really beneficial for us. He does go invisible. Swordsman's going to go on the back side. We are going to be able to get the heal. The fact that the Ghost is focused onto the uh, shield on the back is really not great for us. We are not going to be able to get the takedown here. Um, that was a really interesting gizmo play on his part. So let's see what we can kind of make happen with this. We are going to go for Ghost level 3. Ghost level 3 is going to be super important. Um, if I had two Swordsmen here, I would probably sell this Giant Skeleton and go for the upgrade. But because we don't, we're going to keep it like this. So level 3 Royal Ghost, really important and also really good to capitalize on with the um with the free trials so definitely definitely recommend keeping a close eye on maxing out your rogos especially for lower level players so these free trials are a great way oh let's get the stun nice Oh my gosh, Rogos just comes through. The free trials are also a great way to kind of see how you can 
level up your account as you progress, right? Because obviously you can't do it right away. Ooh, we're gonna do that and then let's go. We probably want the stun duration increase and then we're gonna bring this forward. So he's likely going to be switching the positions here. So I think we're gonna go with the monk on this tile just based on how he's been playing. And I want to get the stun on the right hand side so that our our swordsman can uh, capitalize on this. So we get the, ooh. All right, that's not how I was expecting that to go, but we will get the stun off with the giant skeleton, which is gonna be huge. And the hot pot connects to the royal ghost. So his royal ghost is taken down, which is honestly pretty massive for us. We're going to just continuously get some heals off with the Royal Ghost, with the Monk on the boast, because the Monk is going to heal 3 HP every time he gets a KO. And we should have plenty of HP left to outlast his Witch, and we're going to be able to take the victory right there. So that's going to be GG well played. Again, Royal Ghost level 3, so, so good for free to play at lower levels. So this is definitely going to be a great week for you to kind of start pushing up the trophy road because you have the accessibility to get a free royal ghost. And then of course you can spend some uh, other of your mini shards or star shards to focus on upgrading some other minis. So some other possible minis that you might be able to synergize with the stack. Again, the heroes that we talked about were Skeleton King uh, and the Barbarian King. And then you could also try Miner, you could try Archer, you could try Spear Goblin. Um, Lumberjack might even be a pretty good one because it now has the uh, KO ability to rage up. Getting a rage onto your Royal Ghost could be interesting as well. And you actually don't even need to upgrade your Lumberjack for that. So um, those are definitely some units that I would recommend playing around with. Um, even the Valkyrie as well with the Barbarian King would synergize pretty well. So look at definitely look at two Elixir Minis to kind of sub in um, that you can do with the Ice Wizard. Again, I would recommend Archer, um, Spear Goblin, Miner. I think those are great uh, two Elixir minis. Maybe even this uh, Skeleton Guard with its third abil or second ability with the KO to cast a shield onto the nearest ally. That would be great. Lumberjack is a great three-star ability if, you're, if you don't have the uh, star shards and you want to play Lumberjack. Lumberjack is going to be great as a zero-star mini to uh, synergize well with the Swordsman and with the Royal Ghost, which you have maxed out for free this week. And then Electro Wizard. Um, and Magic Archer, also great four cost minis if you're looking for another four cost mini in as well. But let's do one more game with this deck and we're gonna wrap the video up there. So against World Champion, this deck is a little bit interesting. So what we're gonna be doing to kick things off is we're gonna, we don't have the Royal Ghost, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just gonna start with the Giant Skeleton pushing to the right hand side on the launch tile. And then we'll keep the Monk in the middle to see if he keeps the World Champion there then no Clash ability will get off. He doesn't, we completely ignore that, but we also get our Bowler hit off onto the Miner, which is gonna be pretty big right there. Peacemaker is gonna come through onto the Valkyrie. He's gonna get the vulner uh, invulnerability with his Royal Champion, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue because our Monk should be able to get the uh, Peacemaker off, and we take that first round pretty easily. And then let's hop into round number two. And still kind of the same situation here. Um, I think we're just gonna continuously launch our Skeleton King to the back line. And I do wanna get the Rogue Ghost here. And I think it's gonna be beneficial for us to kind of just swap this out. And I think I'd rather have the Ice Wizard here. And let's, kind of switch and do one of those so the royal ghost will make the ice wizard invisible we are going to get the valkyrie hit monk is going to be able to get a super right away and just take care of that mega knight see you later dude uh ice wizard is going to focus onto the world champion which is huge for us because the world champion is only able to gain energy if the world champion gets a successful hit off so the ice wizard connecting to that royal champion right away was key the monk taking down the mega knight allowed the ice wizard to connect to that world champion and then the stun that we had from the miner not being able to go backside was really important. So we weren't able to get that back. So he wasn't able to get that backline damage through. And then let's see if we can, ooh, we do get the Royal Ghost here. So what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna sell the Ice Wizard and we're just gonna clear our bench. And we're gonna go with the Royal Ghost here. And let's also drop, he does have the Royal Champion. So we're gonna toss the rocket in 
And because we now have the rocket, what I also want to do is make sure that we're not going to be giving up uh, our rocket easily. So if he ends up getting the miner through, that's fine. Maybe our bowler will hit it. Maybe the monk will hit it in this position. But with everything uh, being on the backside, we want to make sure that it doesn't go to our rocket right away. Miner is going to focus onto the rocket, but Miner won't be able to dish out enough damage. Rocket is going to go right to the world champion. Actually, it's going to go to the dark oven on the backhand side, which is... Oh. We ended up losing that. I was going to say, which is fine because we have a unit left in the back, but apparently his miner took us down pretty quickly, um, which I did not see coming. So let's try to let's try to swap through. Let's grab the ice wizard here. Um, and I think what I want to do is sell the bowler and we're going to drop our giant skeleton with the increased stun duration. And I'm going to keep the swordsman here because I think if this ends up going to round five, we probably want to max out our swordsman. I think that'll be super helpful for us. We actually nego uh, negate this uh, clash ability from the spear goblin. Our royal ghost is going to focus onto the world champion, which is huge. Ske Giant skeleton bomb is going to stun this mega knight for quite some time. Our rocket's going to go off. We have the royal ghost invisible. It is going to be able to get a heal, and then we're going to go for the invis. Heal's going to be coming through. Dark Goblin not going to be able to ramp up quick enough. Rogos level 3, too good for low levels. Definitely capitalize on the free trial this week. But that is going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, and make sure to check out those videos. Oh, we have a... We have a guard, but we're going to get some uh, star charts for that. Make sure to check out those videos over there on screen if you have some time to watch more content. But I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.